Hey guys, so this is my two months on tea update. Um, I should have done it a little while ago, but I haven't really got around to it. So this is it. Uh, I'm mainly going to be talking about all the changes and stuff like I said I'd do. Keep you updated on what's going on with all of that. As you can notice, my voice is probably one of the most obvious changes so far. Uh, it's been breaking mainly over the past three or four days. Sometimes it's really difficult to speak, it all just comes out of squeaking. Same goes for singing, I can't sing at the moment. Um, it's literally just, it sounds like a mouse going on constantly. But it's obviously deeper, and hopefully it gets a bit deeper, because this just sounds weird. I think the first like topic of changes I'm going to talk about is emotional. Only because there's a little bit less to that, rather than the physical side. Uh, emotionally... Uh, I think you remember me saying like, I, I struggle to cry and express feelings of like being upset and all of that. Um, I still can't cry. It's extremely difficult and it all builds up inside me still and it's it's genuinely absolutely horrible. My anger is becoming a bit of an issue. Uh, where I used to be able to control it, I'm no longer able to control it as much as I could. I am looking at finding myself some help for that because it is getting seriously out of hand and I think in some ways I could actually be quite dangerous with my anger I will admit that uh, it's horrible because I'm also getting stronger I I can definitely feel that I'm stronger but I I I don't know my own strength anymore so it gets more difficult if I get angry and I, I want to hit something then who knows, I'll probably end up putting my fist actually through a wall. A few people have said that they wonder if maybe I've got like some sort of split personality disorder or something. Uh, due to the fact that one minute I can be I can be happy as Larry. Uh, I can just be smiling, laughing, having the time of my life. And then literally a few seconds later I can just be on the ground. Below the ground even. I feel like absolute crap. And then five minutes later I can... I'll be back on and up again. Like it's it's really hard to tell whether it's the testosterone or whether it's actually my mental health. But they're they're the main emotional changes that I've had so far. Uh, physical changes, as I said, my voice. Uh, I've got a bit more hair growth. I have got some nice, decent bit of hair growth going. All like this little chin strap. Got a bit of a tash coming in. I mean, it's not obvious on the camera, but if you're with me, it's a bit more obvious got more hair on my stomach, I've got this nice little snail trail going on, my legs are filling out with hair, my arms are starting to look a bit more masculine with the hair because even though I've always had hairy arms it hasn't been as obvious as they are now. <sighs> energy wise I don't have as much energy as I used to, I feel constantly tired, um, I feel like I don't actually want to get up and do anything most days. I also are getting my spots through again. I mean, they've because I did have them all on my neck. Um, they've moved to my right shoulder, and I've got a nice big one coming up on my chin, and I've got a few coming up on my forehead, and it all stings like hell. I really don't appreciate spots, but then again, I don't think anybody does. My feet have grown a little bit. I can now fit properly into my brother's trainers, which are a size 9, uh, which is quite nice, actually because I like his trainers. I can still fit into mine, they're just a bit tighter than they used to be. My feet have sort of filled out a bit. I used to have really, really narrow feet and now they're actually quite wide. Not quite wide, they've widened. Uh, my hands have grown a tiny bit. The only way I can tell was the gloves at work. Uh, I always have to have like the smallest of the smallest because I have such tiny hands. But my fingers are making holes in the ends of them because they're they're growing through the gloves and I, I never wash those gloves because I, I don't need to so I know it's not shrinking so my hands it's that's kind of a weird thought that my hands are growing my chest has decreased in size uh, which means that my binder isn't actually binding really anymore which is giving me a lot of dysphoria which I don't think is helping with my mental health but there's not really much point getting a new one because I'm having surgery and 40 something days it's like just under a month and a half I think so by the time it gets here I'll only have about two three weeks with it and I've just wasted like what 40 quid on something that I don't actually 
need for very long. My appetite really exists. Uh, it's just, it's never there. But when it is there, I sort of, I could eat for England, really. Um, but then again, I do feel myself getting full and I can stop myself, which I never used to be able to do, which is probably why I put on so much weight. But it's nice knowing that I can actually control what I'm eating or how much I'm eating, which is helping because it's it's definitely... I can see myself losing weight, even if it is really slowly, it is helpful, uh, especially as I'm trying to lose weight before surgery. Uh, other, some days it's going alright, other days I, I'm just not in the right mindset for it. I don't think there's really any other changes. Nope, no idea. So, I talked in a previous video about doing a surgery mini-series, and I've got some videos scripted, uh, just because if I don't script them, I'm going to mess up everything I'm saying, and it'll go terribly. So I'm just trying to, like, gather everyone's questions that they've asked me, uh, so I can answer them and f make a proper answer for them, because I don't want to do a half-hearted answer and them not get the or you guys not getting the answers that you want or you need i'd rather put all my effort into it so they will be coming soon it will be a mixture of me sitting here in my room on my larry uh talking about uh surgery like who i'm going with why i'm doing it and all of that but i'll also probably do little vlogs and stuff uh, as i'm getting closer to the time so probably ones like trips to the doctors and me finding my paperwork or I don't know you get the idea uh, but as there's there's definitely going to be videos on the way so keep an eye out for them there everything will be posted from now on on the trans life channel which is what you're probably seeing this on rather than my own channel just because we feel that it's easier if we just put everything on trans life otherwise it starts getting really confusing uh, but on Facebook we do still have separate pages because people do like asking me questions on my page which makes things a bit easier to sort of separate so yeah i think i think that's everything it's only a short video today i really need to start thinking up more things to say but then again if there's not many changes there's nothing really to talk about i will get that little surgery mini series up for you as soon as possible and i will see you all later